Good morning. You're watching CNN News 18. I'm Arunama. Suspense continues over the fate of the Congress party. Who will be the president of the grand old party? That suspense remains. And on that count, we're getting some breaking news. The news just coming in, the race for Congress's top job. Congress leader Pawan Pansal says, I will be a proposer for one of the candidates. In an hour, everyone gets to know. That's the soundbite that we have from Pawan Pansal, former union minister in the UPA Raj. Let's listen in. Those who are filing the nomination papers, after that, of course, that would be known. We would let you know what we decide after that. Five days ago, you said that you had to take the form wrong. Why did you take the form? I said that there are 10-10 people who are going to take the form. There are 10-10 people who are going to take the form. I can say that I will submit them to me, but in 2-2 hours, you will know what to do. In 2-2 hours, you will know what to do. Pallavi Ghosh is trying to find out क्या पता लग जाएगा? She's joining us from the AICC headquarters. Pallavi, insight. Your guess as good as mine, really, Arunima. But you can start seeing. I think in another three to four minutes' time, officially, the nomination uh, boxes, in a sense, are going to be open. That office you see right over there is actually the nomination office. That's the office of the returning officer, and that is where all these leaders have been coming and picking up their forms. Uh, as of now, in the race, are clearly Shashi Tharoor. They are the ones who are open about it. Twelve fifteen is when he's expected to come here to file his nomination papers. There's of course Digvijay Singh, who has been saying that till he gets an indication. From the top leadership, he's going to keep on filing his nomination papers. I think the buzzword over here is that of a consensus candidate. If you look at the tweet which came in from Manish Tiwari, he also made the point and he quoted Pranam Mukherjee where he talks about the need for a consensus candidate, which makes it very clear that Manish Tiwari uh, or G23 members are not going to be putting up a separate candidate. Uh, so if it is Balikarjun Kharge, indeed, who we are told around noon could actually come to the AICC headquarters, it's quite possible that some. Someone like a Digvijay Singh does not even file his nomination papers, in which case Arunima is going to be a battle between uh, Tharoor as well as uh, Malika Arjun Kharge. Right. Well, we do hold on. You've already given us some insight into who are the contenders. But just to break that down for our viewers once again, who will become Congress' ka boss? Uh, who are the people who are uh, likely to file their nominations? Who are the contenders who are likely, uh, you know, the, you, you're seeing these pictures which are coming in. Digvijay Singh is one of the contenders. Shashi Tharoor is, is uh, already open about him wanting to file the nomination. What really works for him? Administrative experience, one of party's most articulate leaders. What goes against him, not seen as a mass leader who can galvanize the cadre, even in his home state of Kerala, that is a criticism that is often thrown at him, that he is not really a mass leader. Digvijay Singh, former chief minister of Madhya Pradesh and old guard of Congress party, what really works for him? He is a veteran politician who has faced many political storms. What goes against him, unlikely to unite the cadre to support his candidature. And given the fact that the Bharti Janta Party has often attacked him for his comments, for example, in the Butler House matter, him taking the president's chair, would that open Congress up for four more attacks from the opposition? Third person who's in the race, and that's what we are told, Malikarjun Kharge, leader of the Congress Party, he's represented the Congress at the Lok Sabha, he's representing now as the leader in Rajya Sabha. That works for him. He's a veteran leader who knows the ins and outs of the parties, has been with the party for too long. But what goes against, he's not a pan-India face. He's seen as a staunch Gandhi loyalist. So once again, that criticism that this is a sham, ultimately it'll be the Gandhis uh, who will, who will uh, ensure that a rubber stamp is brought in. So that could stick on if Malikarjun Kharge is brought in. One of the criticism. Mukul Vasnik, what works for him has been Congress's troubleshooter, has been rushed to trouble states time and again. What goes against him? Perception that he's loyal to the Gandhis. In fact, Mukul Vasnik, surprisingly, was, was part of G23 at one point, but now it looks like that he has he has, uh, managed to gain the confidence of uh, the Congress leaders once again. So those are the contenders, like Pallavi was uh, telling us in the next one hour or so, we will uh, get to know who all finally filed their nomination papers. And uh, Pallavi is still there with me. Uh, my other colleagues are also here. I can see Nikhil uh, keeping an eye on the situation. But coming back to you, Pallavi, uh, you know, we have listed the pros and cons. Could there be any dark horse or any dark mare, so to say? 
Well, I mean, Malikajun Kharge certainly emerges as a dark horse. I mean, because late last night, I remember uh, there was this deep speculation about whether there is going to be someone else who would be propped up. Uh, ever since Pawan Bansal, who is a treasurer of the party, picked up those two nomination forms, and he very clearly put himself out of the race, and with Ashok Gelod, who till now was the strongest contender for the top post, also opting out, there was this whole calculation going on, and you put out those reasons, the controversial Digvijay Singh, would he be someone who would be acceptable to the cadre? Would that be the right message which the party would be able to send out in case he becomes the party president? Of course, he laughed it off when we repeatedly asked him this question. So, for all you know, Malika Jun Kharge certainly seems a front runner. Uh, I think uh, that point can only get uh, uh, confirmed, substantiated as and when he enters the AICC headquarters. Uh, but you can see the flurry of activities already started to begin over here. Uh, there are leaders who are going to pouring in, and Congress is certainly going to make that nomination process one with a lot of fanfare because after. All, it's after 20 years where we are going to see a competition or a contest taking place for the top post. Till then, it has been only Sonia Gandhi, hmm. which has also invited a lot of criticism from the political opponents like the BJP. But as of now, Kharge certainly seems to be the dark horse that we have all been talking about. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we are uh, still keeping our eyes and ears open uh, to, to see if there could be a surprise there. But